this week we're going to talk about DIY sex toys. You know, when you repurpose a household item for your own naughty purposes, whether it's out of desperation, thrift, creativity, or simply because your local sex toy shop is populated by pervy old men in raincoats. So let's see how many of you out there have gotten all Martha Stewart with your sex toys. I can honestly say that I have not. No, I have enough men in my life that satisfy me. <laughs> oh, please. Now there is a woman who has yet to meet the right sex toy or the right household object. No, not like, you know, forks and knives and all that stuff, no. I've... You said anything about forks and knives. Ouch. No, we were thinking more along the lines of, you know, a cucumber with a condom on it, or a nice rubber spatula for a little spanking. If you count my very strong beating shower head, then <laughs> I suppose, yeah. One time I heard that a lady was sticking a plunger up there and she died because she slipped. So I'm pretty much good with the whole household stuff. Yeah, we think it's pretty safe to say that you shouldn't stick a toilet plunger anywhere. A spoon with the big, <laughs> with the grip on the on the, I thought about it. What are those, the paper towel holder thingy that as a sex toy? After that, it was done. It was a done deal. I had to throw it out. Toothbrush. It was blue and it was green and it worked and it was good. I know friends that have used a Sonicare toothbrush. Honestly, I haven't. Oh uh, yeah, sure. It's always the friend who's done the dirty deed, isn't it? Speaking of toothbrushes, you really shouldn't be sticking one inside you anywhere. Stick to external vibrations. And even then, we would recommend putting a condom on it. You see that, that turkey baster thing? <laughs> yeah, I use that one. We put it back, but we had to throw it out afterwards because it's kind of freaky that we're gonna use it again. You've definitely, definitely got to retire the turkey baster after that. That is just plain rude if you don't. You know, like you get into those moods, you see a banana, and it's like, no hey, right? I just wonder, you know? <laughs> but no. <laughs> when it comes to do-it-yourself sex toys, we think it's best just to wonder, actually. You should only really be using objects that are specifically designed for your genitals. Especially if it's going inside anywhere. Then you want body safe materials that won't break or get lost up inside you. So that means put down the pool ball or the beer bottle or the G.I. Joe action figure and walk away. 